Welcome to In The Workshop, and this is a special feature called The Quest For Fire, and this is the first part. And already you may be asking, why is this episode starting off with some lathe turning? Am I trying to generate sufficient friction that I can set light to something? No. I'm making an adapter so I can put a burner into my small boiler. The boiler in question is the one that I've been working on recently, and it is a Stuart Models 3500 series. Three and a half inches in diameter, and it's a very well made, high quality model steam boiler. But the burner that I got with it is horrendous. Quite frankly, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. It blows out at nothing, it doesn't generate hardly any heat. But what this burner is really good at doing is making the workshop smell very bad, and it's not me. This foul smell is emanating from the chimney of the boiler. The burner that was fitted to the boiler when I actually bought it looks like it's an original part. It's certainly not homemade. It looks like the burner head of a small blow lamp that you would buy in a DIY store, and it's fitted into a shaped piece of brass with some holes drilled in it that fits in the flue tube, and the burner head is held in place by a grub screw. I'm taking this opportunity to speak about the original burner and simultaneously I'm drilling a hole through the centre of this piece of phosphor bronze in the chuck. And some viewers will be very pleased to know that it's running in real time. No speeding up in this video whatsoever. Everything's in real time. Making these videos is great fun for me. I really enjoy doing it, but sometimes some of the comments are a pain. One guy said, well I can't hear the noise that that boy is making because you're talking over it. Well, hang on a minute. These are supposed to be tutorials. If I do not speak and explain what's happening, then it ceases to be a tutorial. The bad comments really don't bother me. As I've said before, my back's broad enough. I'm going to check out the person who's left the bad comments. Surprise, surprise, it usually says, this channel contains no videos. Quite a lot of the viewers seem to like the relaxing music that I create, which accompanies some of the painting videos. So I had a bright idea about making some of these videos because people have asked me for them and the combination of painting a model steam engine with some really peaceful music playing is quite relaxing. That is the idea of it. And in the way of a thank you to my Patreon subscribers and you know who you are and I thank you very much indeed I've made it possible for Patreon subscribers to download the music for their own personal listening pleasure. And also, the full series of my 3 DVD set, How to Build a Model Steam Launch, is also available for free download by Patreon subscribers. It really makes a difference to me because it allows me to put a lot more time into making the videos. But alas, I do require a lot more Patreon subscribers before I can do this full time. Please check it out, it doesn't cost much at all, you can pledge as little as a dollar per month, or whatever you like really. And the good news is, we're nearly at the end of this machining sequence. And maybe some viewers can see now why I speed up the video, because it is very, very boring, but at least it allows me to get to mention Patreon. So now, if you're losing the will to live, I better tell you what I'm doing. What I'm doing is making a phosphor bronze collar that fits into the flue tube to support a small ceramic burner, because I want to try this method and see whether or not this ceramic burner generates enough heat to boil the water. I find it really frustrating messing about with boilers that are powered by gas. There always seems to be some sort of a problem with them. Here's the Stuart 3500 series boiler that I've been working on recently. And it's fitted with a Stuart Models safety valve, which makes a horrible noise. I'll now shut up so you can hear it. I hated that noise, as I'm sure by now you do too. I went up to Blackgate's Engineering and I bought one of these. It's a Jubilee Fittings pop type safety valve and they really are excellent things. And these are the type of safety valves that I use most of the time. I'll be testing it shortly on steam, but first of all I need to raise some steam by fitting the burner into the flue tube, using the adapter that you've just seen me make. And there's no rocket science here, it was a very simple job, and it allows me to fit this small ceramic burner into the larger flue tube. The size of jet fitted to this burner is a number 8, and that's the one that I found to be the best. And as you can see, it's connected to a little gas tank, and what I have to do is simultaneously turn on the gas 
and hold an igniter over the chimney and you saw it flash there which means the burner is lit and problem number one immediately occurs the howling if I withdraw the burner it stops if I push the burner back into the flue tube it starts again and before lots of kind people get on the keyboards and tell me why it's howling and how to fix it I do know how to fix it but this is not the point I'm trying to show what it's like in the real world I used to use Mac steam boilers for most of my boiler applications and before Mike Abbott retired and wound up Mac steam I used to speak to Mike Abbott from time to time generally about gas burners I tried various experiments to make them stop the howling the howling is a resonant column of air in the tube like a musical instrument I found that if I blocked at one of the primary air holes often the howling stopped so then the idea was to fit a ring that you could slide up to partially cover the air hole and that worked Mike started fitting these to his boilers and they definitely worked okay they shut the howling up but there was a trade-off incomplete combustion insufficient air equals incomplete combustion equals a really foul smell coming out of the chimney and possibly carbon monoxide if you move the ceramic burner away from the boiler's flue tube obviously the howling stops because there isn't loads of air rushing in and being accelerated over the small openings in the burner once the gas pressure drops which it does very quickly as the tank chills the howling tends to disappear but so does the heat it took quite a while before I got any steam at all out of this boiler I think it was possibly about 25 minutes I you, this is a very small ceramic burner but eventually it started producing steam not a lot of steam may I add but steam nevertheless I connected a piece of silicone rubber piping onto the boiler steam outlet and connected the other end to a cheddar models puffin and after a while longer once the pressure built slightly the little puffin engine ran very well in both directions these are great little engines for model steamboats and they don't need much pressure to run as you can see here and it's very wet steam most of its water that's coming out of the exhaust so in your model steamboat if you use a cheddar puffin engine you can use a small ceramic burner with a small boiler here is a top tip for beginners so you have a steam outlet and no way of blocking it up but you have a union nut so put a small ball bearing or in this case a stainless steel ball into the union nut and nip it up with a spanner onto the steam union and the ball will seal the steam union so no steam can get out simple but effective just like a girl I used to know there's nothing showing on the pressure gauge yet and when I lift the top of the safety valve a small amount of pressure is building in there and then suddenly there's some pressure on the gauge happy times the pressure starting to lift at last just look at it go 10 pounds per square inch there almost enough pressure to send a Mamod or Willesco steam engine into orbit and rising I wonder why I was beginning to think I wouldn't be able to live long enough to see the end of this video so I've cheated this is the blowtorch head from my sievert system it's the one I use most of the time for silver soldering small pipes and now the steam pressure is rising quickly and in no time at all it's at working pressure let's have a listen to it that's how a model safety valve should sound it pops as it blows off and then very quickly shuts and the pressure builds back up that's it for this part thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful